September is Family Meals Month, and of course, the best way to celebrate at the table with your family eating. We've got Deanna Scheid. She's the registered dietitian with Family Fair to show us how to do it. First of all, Deanna, tell us the importance of Family Meals Month. Why do we do this? Yes, yeah, so gathering around the family dinner table not only helps with mental health, but also helps with physical health. So it helps with family bonds, it helps with social life, um, it helps decrease childhood obesity, and just forms a better like family unit. So I always think people are very very surprised that hey it helps with physical health and obesity obesity and nutrition but also mental health as well. Absolutely. And you know, it's we are so busy, we're doing so many things. It's hard mm -hmm. to get everybody around the table, but you've got a couple of really easy recipes for us today. Yes. Um, that won't take a lot of time. Nope. And that will be appealing to everyone. Yes. And that's I think that's, that's the hardest thing <laughs> is trying to get those kids, you know, to try different foods and eat those vegetables. Um, but I'm going to first show us um, our one pot enchilada bowl, which is a great meal to prep with your family. You can have the kids chopping the vegetables, stirring the enchiladas. But I feel like enchiladas are a little bit hard, you know, to make. Yeah. You, you, you gotta wrap them, you gotta put them in the oven, so much prep. But this is just a one pot recipe. So here I have first, I mixed in with a little bit of olive oil, some shredded carrots, bell peppers, and onions. Okay. And you let that saute a little bit with chili powder, garlic, um, and some onion powder too. And then once the vegetables get a little bit soft, then you can add three and a half cups of water and the rice as well. And then you kind of wait for 30 minutes, you sure. know, and let the rice boil and get softer. However, if you want to make it even quicker. Shortcut. 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 Shortcut time. You do um, some Ben's Original Ready Rice. Okay. So this is in, on sale in our stores today. And it comes in a bunch of different, like, varieties. So you can see there's, like, basmati. Yeah. There's beans and oh, rice. Yeah, right and I just use the regular brown rice. Okay. And I just popped it in the microwave for 90 seconds and threw it in the bowl. Could not so easy. be easier. Yeah. Boiling right. rice for 30 minutes. Don't want to do that. <laughs> and of course, so we got we had some of the things here. Yes, black beans. Yes. So, so once the rice is done, you can add some bushes black beans. I love black beans because they're packed with you know protein and fiber um, and great nutrients. And then you can add some bird's eye corn into this as well. So and good. bird's eye is also on sale this week awesome. um, for two for eight. So really great deal there. Well, it makes it more colorful too. It, it does. Just more, more fun. Yes. Um, of course, our protein, right? Yes. And you have some alfresco ground chicken. I love the line of alfresco because it's all chicken, so it's all lean protein, and they have chicken turk, chicken um, sausage, chicken bacon, and then also just ground chicken like that with different seasonings. So you don't even have to season it. Yeah. You can just throw it in the pot and be ready to go. And then let us not forget. Yes. And then some are um, enchilada sauce to kind of spruce it up, make it a little bit saucy that way. Saucy. Yes. Get saucy. yes, and then you just stir it up, and there you have your oh, completed meal. Couldn't be easier. Yes. And of course, the toppings are the most important, right? Yes, exactly. So pile it on. So we have some craft shredded cheese that you can go ahead and pile on yeah. our on the top of the enchilada bowl. Yeah. Amazing. And then, mmm. Yes, and so I, I like to this. use, yeah, some Greek yogurt. Uh, it's a little bit more protein, a little bit healthier, so that's a good alternative to eat, put on top of there. It's a little dollop. It tastes just like sour cream. Yes, it's delicious. Does. Absolutely. Yes. And then Ooh. you have yes. some tips for us as well. <laughs> yeah, so avocados. So I have some avocados from Peru, and avocados from Peru, they're, they look a little different. They have rough skin, and when they're ripe, they almost look black. Okay. So I like to grab like some hard avocados for later in the week, yep. put them in a brown paper bag with some like um, apples or bananas to help them ripen quicker, and then some ripe ones too. And it's just like soft to the touch. You can okay. see that. Oh, yeah, a little that's pretty, just a That's little. pretty ripe, yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna show you how to uh, cut this, and hopefully I can do it first good the first time. <laughs> so I just slice, so the pit is right in the middle, so I just slice and roll. So this is a slice and roll technique right down the middle. And then you just twist, and there you have your avocado with a pit in it. Easy peasy. So, and then this is the hardest part. Let's, I hope I don't chop my finger off. Okay, don't. But, okay, so then you go like that, twist, and voila! Voila! It is deep pitted, and usually I just like... <laughs> okay, usually it comes off a little bit better than that. But I go, because you don't want to grab it, because that's a little dangerous, but I usually like put it right in the trash can and just like knock okay, it off. Yeah, yeah. And then I'll eat, if you want it diced or sliced, then you just do whatever dice or slice you want to do. So I'm going to do it sliced. So I just slice it right against the skin like that. Twist it around. And then if you want to try, if you don't mind getting your fingers a little dirty. I don't, no. Kind of taking yeah. your fingers and get plying there, them out. Right? Yeah, getting them out and then putting them on the, the bowl just like that. Look at that. 
Look at that. And it comes out so pretty. A little bit nice for everybody, yes. right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So we've done the Mexican. Now we, let's move on. Chicken, kind of a family favorite. Yes, exactly. So here we have some easy Parmesan chicken roasted. It's so easy. You just take a breast of chicken and then dip in some water and then mix it in with Parmesan chicken Italian seasoning and then roast it in the oven for 25 minutes and done. All okay, right, easy. Yeah. And then I have some bird's eye crispy green beans um, and then also some bird's eye roasted cauliflower and broccoli. So okay. they, I love bird's eye because they have a whole line of different like sheet pan meals, um, different like different veggies like this. So you can see some green beans that are so delicious. Yeah, you fry it, you kind yes. of disguise it a little yes, bit, right? Yes, exactly. And I like to do that because it gets kids to try it. It kind of like covers up what it really is just to get <laughs> them to try different foods. Yeah, and I'll also like to sprinkle a little bit of like Parmesan cheese on top of vegetables just to give it a little bit of a enhanced flavor so kids are more likely to eat veg veggies. Absolutely. Yes. And there's a lot more of this where, you know, we can find it. Where where do we go? To yeah, so Family uh, Fair um, has a bunch of different recipes throughout the aisles this week as we celebrate Family Meals Month, or all month it has it. And let's let's just make it Family Meals Month all year round. Yes. Right? Yes, it's a, it's a movement. It's not just a month. You know, you should have Family Meals just once a week, try to get a couple weeks in, um, a couple days a week to have some great Family Meals. Deanna, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Yes, thank you. All right. And once again, you want those recipes, just head to shopfamilyfair.com. We'll be right back.